Hello guys, welcome back to the e-bike nut. I've got a confession to make. I've uh, totally screwed this video up and uh, I'm having to do a voiceover for it, so I do apologise. It won't bore you for the entire video. Uh, the idea to guy today guys is to go from where I live in Northumberland and uh, I'm going to travel all the way down to County Durham, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, my grandma's just came out of a diabetic coma. So I thought I'd best go down and say hello to her. Um, it's going to be an epic ride. Well, it was an absolutely epic ride. It's a shame that the sound didn't record. I'm still experimenting with new microphones, but hopefully this one's going to work for next week. Um, the bike is set to a max speed limit of 15 mile an hour. Um, 250 watts. I'm curious to find out what the actual distance is. It's one of the first questions everybody asks. You know, how far does your bike go? Well, guys, today we're going to find out how far does it actually go. Will it get all the way to County Durham? It'll get its chance. It was painfully slow. I do believe that 15 mile an hour is too slow for an electric bike. The reason being is that I feel like it's dangerous. It's interesting to turn the bike down to a low, but I do feel like they're a little bit dangerous in certain traffic situations holding cars up, things like that. If you're going to build an e-bike, guys, I would recommend doing your own because you can build one to 30 mile an hour. It doesn't have to be as fast as, uh, or to the gun to the extent that I did with my bike. You, if you have a bike that does an average speed of 30, you'll be uh, more than happy with it. 30 mile an hour is well fast enough on an electric bike. 15, as you can see in the photos and the video, it's just a little bit, I don't know, it got us, well, it, it, you know, it was interesting, it was something that I learned, it was really uh, cool, I think we're nearly down at the time tunnel here, some really interesting paths, places I've never been to before, it was absolutely unreal, so I'm not going to diss anybody with a 250 watt e-bike, I'm sure you'll have loads of fun, it did do the job. Um, you know, if anything, the arse is really sore. Sitting on the bike, as you can see there, we've still got an hour and 54 minutes according to, uh, to Google. And my butt cheeks were absolutely bloody killing. We're just coming up to uh, Time Tunnel Trading Estate Roundabout. The ferry terminal there for Amsterdam, North Shales. You guys could would laugh if you could see us right now. I'm sitting in my living room with my bloody crash armor on, recording this. It's absolutely ridiculous, really. The video and the the journey was so good, I just couldn't uh, not upload it. All these paths were new, and Google was actually really good at um, knowing where the cycle paths were. Barn one little issue, but uh, I'm sure you, if you keep watching, you'll still, uh, find out where it was. I have obviously had to edit this video massively and um, take massive chops out of it. But I've tried to keep the everything in proportion. So um, things like my satellite navigation, that's in tune with what ha actually happened. Now here you guys, this is the Tyne Tunnel, a uh, pedestrian Tyne Tunnel. I've never been through it before in my entire life. Couldn't wait to get there and go through it. And look what, look what it is guys. This is the entrance to the pedestrian time tunnel. Which way do you get through the tunnel first? Good. Oh, never are they really? Good, yeah. Oh, never. Right all then, no worries. Uh, I'm actually a little bit gutted that uh, the tunnels are closed. Somewhere I've wanted to go for ages. They've been closed for six years. Wounded guys, wounded.
four guys have made it to my grandma's. She's fitting well, doing mighty fine. Nice to see her again.